Hi everybody, this is Property with Leonard and welcome to another episode. Now on this channel we discuss property, finance and investments. Now please note that none of my videos constitutes as financial advice, but if you're looking for financial advice, please speak to an accredited and registered financial advisor. Now if you are a low to middle income earner in South Africa, well, then I've got good news for you. Home ownership is now a possibility thanks to the FLISP, which, which stands for the Finance Linked Subsidy Program, which is a South African government program that subsidizes home loans. And in this episode, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you and take you through this whole process by covering the five most important things that you need to know with regards to the FLISP, which stands for the Finance Linked Subsidy Program. Just as a disclaimer, and you will pick it up as we go along, it's a bit difficult for me to pronounce the word FLISP, which stands for the Finance Linked Subsidy Program. Anyway, so I will be covering what FLISP is in this episode, who qualifies for this FLISP, subsidy i'll explain i'll explain the criteria and then also what documents you need to apply i'll explain to you how does this FLISP actually work and lastly i will also explain to you how long does this process take from the point where you physically apply to the payout so make sure that you watch the full video bear with me as i struggle through the pronunciation and share this video with your colleagues and your friends and family and so forth i wouldn't want anyone to miss out on, on this opportunity because not a lot of people are actually aware of this program. And while you're at it, please remember to subscribe to my channel, to like and share this video, and in addition, also show, uh, show your support and appreciation to this channel by making use of our affiliate partners. Their links are in the description below where you can shop and support us in, in that way, as well as through our super thanks, the super thanks option next to the share button below that way you support our channel which enable us to continue to provide you with excellent quality and informative content and thank you so much to those of you who have already supported us it is much appreciated let me start by explaining to you what FLISP is well it's a South African government program that subsidizes the home loans of first-time home buyers who fall within the low uh, middle to low income uh, income bracket and how it works once you are approved the subsidy is paid into your home loan account uh, or your attorney's trust account it can also be used as a deposit on a home loan. Now the subsidy ranges between 30,000 and one rand and 130,000 depending on your income. The lower your income, the higher your subsidy. And this money or subsidy is paid into your home loan account or as I mentioned your attorney's trust account. So who qualifies for the FLISP subsidy? It is only people who fall within the income bracket of 3,501 to 22 thousand rand they qualify for the subsidy you must be a south african citizen with a with permanent residency in south africa you must you must not have received a government housing um, subsidy before you must be married or cohabiting or single with financial dependence which is important you must be over 18 years old you you must not have owned a fixed residential property before and i just want to mention again that that this subsidy ranges between 30 thousand and one rand and a hundred and thirty thousand rand depending on your income of course taken that the lower your income the higher your subsidy this money is not paid into your personal account but directly into your home loan account or your attorney's trust account let's talk about the documents you need to apply for FLISP now in addition to the FLISP application form you will need the following documents so you need to take note uh, firstly certified copies of your identity documents your IDs certified copies of dependents birth certificates certified copies of your marriage certificate or the final order of divorce your original recent payslips or affidavit confirming unemployment or proof of 
of social ground, a certified copy of the deed of sale or the offer to purchase, certified copy of the bond approval or the quotation, original or certified copy of the statement of transfer cost from, from the transferring attorney. So you, you must make sure that you have all these documents and submit them with your application. And don't forget that, that is very important. Otherwise your application will be rejected. The first thing that I would like to explain to you regarding, regarding this FLISP is how does it work? And now in the past, you used to have to apply for a home loan and have the application approved before you could apply for this FLISP uh, subsidy. But as of April 22, this is no longer necessary. You can now use other sources of finance to apply, including the beneficiary's pension or provident fund loan, cooperative or community-based savings scheme um, such as stock files, and also the government employee housing scheme or any other employer assisted housing scheme uh, for that matter. An installment sale agreement or rent to own agreement. And this opens up the opportunity for more people right through South Africa to qualify for the finance linked subsidy program. And in conclusion, let me share with you how long this process takes. Now, all things being equal, this application process usually takes about seven days. And once your application is granted, the subsidy will be paid into your home loan account. But once again, you need to make sure that you not only meet the criteria, but also provide all the information as I have discussed with you. My advice to you is watch this video perhaps more than once, just to make sure that, that you don't miss out on the requirements. And of course, on this wonderful opportunity. And just by the way, in case you wonder, you do not have to repay the subsidy at, at any point once the National Housing Finance Corporation determines that that you are eligible for a subsidy it will be transferred directly into your home loan account thereby reducing I mean great great uh, advantages your monthly repayments for the home loan and perhaps covering for a deposit and this is a great opportunity for you to start investing in property and a lot of South Africans are still completely unaware of this opportunity and assistance by the South African government. And that is why I would like to encourage you, really encourage you to, to share this video with your friends and, and with your colleagues and family. If you meet all the criteria, have all the required documents, there shouldn't be a problem or any hesitation for the government to support and, and provide you this subsidy as I just discussed, discussed with you. But if you should have any additional questions or things that you're not clear on, you are more than welcome to let me know in the comment section below. You know, there's a lot of clever people watching my videos. If I don't know the answer, any one of them would be able to assist you. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. Now, if this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, to like this video and to share it and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I ask subscribing before I go. Two things. Firstly, it is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a cent. And secondly, it is really easy. You can just click that subscriber button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And please remember to hit the all notifications and that way you'll be notified and you won't miss out whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much, everybody. I see you in the next episode. Stay blessed.